welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're a newbie, then hello, welcome. My name is Raquel. And if you're a subby, thank you for returning. I really appreciate your support. Today we have a rat and boa haul, and I didn't realize this, but my previous uh, rat and boa try on haul and review still gets really good amount, like a good amount of views, some really, really lovely comments, um, just saying how much that video has helped them because that was a real in-depth review. Um, and I was talking about sizing and pricing and that sort of thing. So if you guys haven't checked out my previous and um, first rat and boa haul. I'm going to link it in the description box for you and also in the cards in case you want to check it out. But today we have another haul. Of course it's going to be a try on. I'll let you know sizing and pricing. I actually managed to get all of these pieces in the sale. I had tried for so many times <laughs> to get pieces in the rat and boa sale and every single time I had no luck. Every time I went to check out it was saying nothing like inventory sold out blah blah. But it seems as though they've kind of revamped their website and you actually can get through like some of these sale pieces were still available um the next day and things like that so yeah i'm gonna do another quick try and haul for you guys if you guys aren't subscribed do go ahead hit that subscribe button but let's get straight into dress number one dress number one is going to look very very familiar to you guys this is the fabienne dress and i'm wearing it in a size small now when i picked it up in the sale this actually went down to 129 pounds so i think it was around 40 percent off so a little bit of a backstory when i did that first um, Rat and Boa try on haul, I loved so many of the dresses, but this was the one that I loved the most. So I, I think I actually sent the others back and I was tempted to keep this one. Like this is the one that I really, really wanted. And at the time I'd shopped on Matches. I didn't realize this, but I think maybe Matches were like phasing Rat and Boa out because they're no longer stocked on, I don't think Rat and Boa is stocked anywhere. I think you like have to buy exclusively on the Rat and Boa website. Anyway, point is I had 30% off, sent it back. And I said to, I was talking to my uh, friend sister about it and she was like yeah you messed it up like 30% is a really good discount but I was holding out and holding out and then they eventually did it at 40% off on the website so £129 is really not bad at all this is one of the most famous pieces from Rat and Boa I think Kim Kardashian wore it on holiday and so from there a lot of people really really like the look of this dress it's a stunning piece um, and I'm so glad I've been able to get my hands on it at 40% off. I'll turn around and show you guys the back. So this does have thin straps, they are adjustable and then it also has this tie detail in the middle. This is a nice low back but it's not too low to where you're showing crack child, <laughs> we don't need to do that. But it's nice and low and then it also at the front has a really lovely sort of cow neck detail. Now in the length waist cutaway you guys will see that it's quite this is quite a long dress on me. I'm obviously not wearing any shoes or any heels with it at the moment. I'm five foot six and a half for reference and I do feel like it's a good length. It's definitely a little bit long, but I presume that obviously once I throw it on um, with, you know, my nice shoes, heels, heeled sandals, I think it's just gonna be the absolute perfect length. I wanna just double check the material. Where's my stuff? Oh, okay, we are getting into the fabrics. Where are we? Search Fabienne. Oh, autocorrect did me like a kipper. Okay, yeah, so at full price, this one's £215. I would say, do you know what? In terms of size and stick to your usual size, where are we at now? Yeah, this is a crafted in a lightweight 100% silk chiffon. I love this one, I really, really do. So this one is actually lined, it's worth mentioning that because a lot of their pieces are not lined and I know people kind of are wondering about that. So this for me, 10 out of 10, cannot wait to wear it. I'm so glad I've been able to get it for 40% off because 215 is a little bit much. Anyway, I'm gonna move into the next dress. Next up we have the dress known as Costella. Now this one is a size small, it's 180 pounds at full price, I think, uh what did i maybe this one's like 30 percent listen we ain't trying to do the maths but listen it was 126 pounds so obviously a really nice saving now i looked at the material of this the material is a 100 percent tensile i don't really i don't really know what material that is i've actually never heard of that um so in terms of like the stretch and the fit factor it doesn't have much give I would say the silk Fabienne dress has a little bit more give. So if you're in between sizing, you can kind of, you know, risk it a little bit. Whereas with this one, it is quite rigid. I, what does it say? So back zip fastening, cut out detail at the front, side slit. This is definitely a very, I don't think I'm gonna keep it, but it is still a stunning piece. And I remember feeling like this in the last haul, just because because these pieces are a slightly higher price point, I wanna be doubly, doubly sure that I'm gonna get cost per wear. Now this is, as they said, a classic with a twist. And I do think 
it would slot into the wardrobe nicely. I really, really do. But what it is, is for me, uh, the way that it clings to me here is kind of, you know, riding up and kind of rippling in a little bit of an unflattering manner. I do love this side slit. I think it's very stunning and it really is a very great classic with a twist. Babe? Oh, it is a really good classic with a twist. Um, but what do we think? I think also perhaps this little cutout is stunning, but it looks a little bit, I don't know, a little bit baggy. So I don't know, what do you guys think? I'd rate this probably a six. I'm just gonna show you the back. It's a complete zip fastening that goes all the way down. The best way for me to kind of describe the material it feels like a little bit more of a thicker, more durable linen. Um, I hope that helps, but yeah, what do we think? I think, I think if it fit me really nicely here, I mean, it still looks as though it does. I just know how I'll feel like it will ride up eventually and it'll kind of sit like that and that's not what we're going for, right? So yeah, I'm gonna rate it like a six. If you're less thigh hip bum, I think it's gonna sit really nicely in your figure and I love this low cut detail. It's low cut, but it's not too, too much. So yeah, I'm gonna give this a six or a seven, but I think I'm, I'm probably gonna return this one. Cause I have to return some, right? I would love to keep every single one. Anyway, uh, let's go into dress number three. Okay, so next up we have the Harlequin dress at full price, this is 165 pounds. I think I, this one went down to 99. So this was the cheapest dress out of the entire haul. In case I've been forgetting to mention sizing, I went for a size small in every single piece. So that black dress is a small, this is also in a small. Now this one is 100% viscose. Um, and what does it say about this one now? The signature rat and bone dress you love, balloon sleeves, button front. Yeah, I mean, right, this is cute, it really is. And to be fair, the price at 99 is not bad because as I keep mentioning, I've noticed a couple of like, you know, my favorite high street brands, their prices are creeping up. So it's like by the time, you know, and everyone's wearing the same thing, by the time you, you know, add an extra 20, 30 quid, you might as well just get something like this. What I will say though, is that because I have picked up five, I'm gonna be very, very particular about what I'm gonna keep. Now, this one is a very stunning piece. In terms of the materials, I don't think viscose is a particularly expensive material, but then 99 pounds is, is not so bad. Now, the only thing of this, you guys know I love, 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 love a bloom sleeve. However, I think, I don't know, I just think this one is maybe just a bit too ballooned for me because when you go like that, the, oh no, maybe that. I do like a balloon sleeve, I do, I do. Now, in terms of doing this one up and getting in and out, these buttons are all functional. So you can, in a way, this is quite a good dress because it is quite versatile. So depending on where you were going, if you want, oh yeah, when you do it up like that, okay, I think, I think this might be a contender to keep actually. <laughs> Such weak resistance. Do you see how this works? But basically, it's almost like a, not like a two in one, but, so you can do up one of the buttons at the top and then leave it undone as like a little keyhole moment, or you can do up all the buttons. Yeah, I think this is quite a strike. Oh, no, actually, does it look like it's pulling? Oh, the chest is broad, honey. It looks like it's pulling on the chest, but I don't know, do we keep this one? What do we think? It has a split hem. In terms of the length, this is definitely way mini in length. I just think if you were going on holiday, this would be a really nice piece to pop into your, like if you're going on a beach holiday, it'd be a really nice piece to pop into your suitcase because you could wear it quite a lot. You could wear it as a beach cover up. You could wear it out in the evening. You'd get quite a lot of use out of it. I think they have this in the orange as well. Now, looking in the viewfinder, the color looks a little bit more garish just because I've got the bright light sort of like shining off of it. Don't get me wrong, it's definitely bright. It's definitely vibrant but it's not kind of like you know it's not as garish as it looks in the viewfinder so uh what do we think keep or return comment let me know so far the first dress is definitely 150,000 percent keep because i had that regret when i sent it back and so yeah that's 100 percent staying so what do we think of this one let me know okay so now we're getting into some dangerous territory now this is the Fabiana dress. So the first one is Fabienne. This is the Fabiana. It's a leopard print one. I'm wearing it in a size small. So I got it for 111 and at full price it's usually 185. Now this is 100% viscose again. Um, frill detail, detachable waist tie, hook and eye fastening at the front, 
semi sheer so let's get into it and talk about the semi sheer because i know rat and boa do a ton of dresses and some of them are quite sheer so i this one is definitely one of the semi sheer ones and i think they've got ones that are even more sheer than this i think the last one might be very sheer we'll get onto that in a sec so um <laughs> so what you guys do underneath is going to be totally up to you and what you're comfortable with i've personally gone for little covers here and then black and then that's that's it. And if you want to wear, like there's different options. So if you wanted to wear like, um, like a high waisted sort of like knicker short or knicker brief, you can do that. That way there's like only a little bit of the cheek kind of hanging out. I, you guys know me, I'm a thong girl, so I've just gone for the thong. I feel more comfortable this way. This is gonna be totally different case by case depending on what you're used to. So this one is a semi sheer. I, I think we'll get onto that last one in a sec. But the reason why I think this one is a, a keeper, let me see how much I paid. Uh, these people are gonna take all of my money. Fabienne, this was, okay, fine, 111. What do we think, 111? I think 111 is worth it, you know? I think it would be a staple in the wardrobe, if you like animal print, that is. I personally love animal print. One thing I will say is I don't really, I don't know if I like the top, oh look, the see, this is a little bit, you have to be careful, I'm glad I'm wearing the cover because it kind of moved over to the side there, but one thing I wanna say is because of the ruffle detail, Yeah, okay, so because of the ruffle detail in the front here, I think I'd prefer it without the tie, but it's nice that you have the option. Because of the fact that you undo this with the hook and eye, it can come down quite low. It's nice to have the option to tie it back. And I think this would be a really lovely beach cover up. It's such a lovely, because everybody's doing leopard print. It's nice to have, like this for me is a 10 out of 10 in terms of the leopard print itself, because not everybody gets the leopard print right. So I think this is a really cute piece. One thing to note, it's very open in the front. It's very open in the pum pum area, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like as you're walking, I mean, it doesn't ride up to be fair, but it is definitely very short. This hook and eye functionality is literally the whole way through this dress. So if you wanted to wear it open and then tie it open and you know have it so that you can see the bikini underneath, I think that would work really, really well. And even if you didn't want to tie it and you just wanted to wear it open, perfect as well. So for that reason, I think it's got to stay with me really. We'll see what the last dress is saying, but for that... We'll see what the last dress is saying, but I do think that's the... The versatility in this, sorry, I keep losing my words because I'm very excited about this entire haul to be fair, but yeah, comment, what do you guys think? I'm wearing this one in a size small. I'm just gonna move my hair off the shoulders. This ruffle detail is also at the top as well. I think this is a staple. I do. Let me roll uh, Let me roll into the fifth and final dress. Okay, fifth and final dress, this is the Zinnia. It's 165 pounds, zebra print, semi sheer, side slit, cow back. I'm wearing it in a size small, 165, I think I got it for 115. So maybe that wasn't even the biggest saving. I think some of them was, I think the biggest discount I got was like 40% off. I didn't get any that, that were 50. So it's like some were 30 and some were 40. What do we think? I think this one I can confidently return. Not because it's not a nice one, just because I wanna make sure I can definitely 150,000% get my cost per wear. And I don't think I need all of them. So I need, I need help. But um, again, in terms of the material, this one is 100% viscose. So I don't think that's like a premium, premium material. I'm wearing it in a size small. So it has this cowl feature at the front. It definitely has adjustable qualities to it. So if you don't want it to cowl too much, you can just make this a little bit tighter. The straps are adjustable. Now this has got a cowl back as well, almost. Because of the label, it's kind of um, cowling a bit too much. You can see... Um, this is so you probably have to just push that down a little bit maybe tape it um, maybe just make sure that it stays up a little bit higher I'm actually treading on it that's probably another reason why but yeah like the description says this one again is semi sheer so it's going to be depending on your preference as to what undergarments you would want to wear underneath it I think it's cute look I need to adjust it because this keeps trying to pop out but um yeah no I do I do think it's cute I think, perhaps it's because I'm a little bit, I love my animal print, but I, I think I prefer like my leopard print, but let me know, rate this out of 10, what would you give this out of 10? I think it's still a solid six or seven, and I think it's a beautiful piece. I just would like to get pieces that I know that I'm gonna reach for, you know, very, very frequently. So yeah, this is my fifth and final dress, six or seven out of 10, but comment, let me know what you would rate it out of 10. But yeah, that completes the haul. 
So that completes my rat and boa haul. Comment below and let me know what your favourite dress was down below. As I mentioned at the beginning, thank you guys so much if you watched the first haul and if you commented on it and if you gave it a thumbs up. If you could do the same with this haul, if it helps you out, comment, let us know. I'd really, really appreciate it. It really, really helps uh, me when you guys engage with my videos and that sort of thing. And I'm so glad that that video was helpful because that's the main reason why I get on uh, on YouTube and try on like a bunch of different clothes just to help you guys out especially if the price point is higher I, do, I know that like not everybody can afford to like you know try on five or six in one go they just want to get one and make sure that one is the one <laughs> and be done um sorry <laughs> that's all rhyming but yeah that's why I do these hauls because I I hope that they are helpful in some way so yeah if you guys found this video helpful please give this video a thumbs up for now that is it from me if you guys want to follow me on IG it's Raquel.Sawal. I'll pop it on the screen. Um, but yeah, that is about it. Make sure you're subscribed and make sure the bell is turned on. Um, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.